when he hurt her, I let him know that could never happen again. He was never good news. Anyone that hurt your child ain't good news. And a mother feels that he's not good. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that to her. Why? She was a good girl. She wanted to go into nursing. You didn't have to do that. That girl was good to you. Anything you wanted, she gave you. She cared about you. This is the story of Macavia Cabell, a vibrant 19-year-old from Lynchburg, Virginia, whose promising future was tragically cut short. As she pursued her dreams and aspirations, her path crossed with Kean Palmer, a figure whose presence would bring about a series of events that would forever change the course of her life. The unfolding of their relationship led to a heartbreaking outcome that left her family and community in shock and mourning. The depths of this heartbreaking tale explores themes of love, loss, and the quest for justice. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Lynchburg, Virginia, a picturesque city known for its close-knit community and scenic landscapes. In this very city, a heartbreaking tragedy unfolded, leaving a lasting impact on all who knew Macavia Cabell. Macavia Yana Cabell, a 19-year-old resident of Lynchburg, was a bright and ambitious young woman with a passion for nursing. She was a cherished daughter, granddaughter, and friend, known for her infectious laughter and caring nature. Macavia graduated from Heritage High School in June of 2023, where she excelled academically and was actively involved in extracurricular activities. Her dedication to her studies and her future career in nursing reflected her strong work ethic and determination. Despite her young age, Macavia had a profound impact on those around her with her kindness and compassion. She was described as a ray of sunshine, always ready to lend a helping hand and bring a smile to others' faces. Her warm personality and genuine concern for others endeared her to many, creating lasting bonds within her community. Macavia Cabell was also affectionately known as Yaya. She held a special place as the oldest among her three siblings, who all looked up to her and adored her. This sheds light on the close bond she shared with her siblings, portraying her as a source of inspiration and love within her family circle. Family, friends, and teachers all spoke highly of Macavia's gentle spirit and unwavering optimism. Her presence brightened the lives of those she touched, leaving a legacy of love and kindness that continues to inspire others. In Macavia Cabell's life, there was an individual who tragically played a significant role, Kean Palmer, her boyfriend. Their relationship was marked by a history of violence, indicating a troubled dynamic between them. Macavia's family expressed concerns over the nature of her relationship with Kean Palmer, highlighting the challenges she faced in that regard. According to Macavia Cabell's grandmother, Joyce Cruz, Macavia and Kean Palmer were in an on-again, off-again relationship. Who knew that her boyfriend could also be the suspect in her shooting death? Macavia Cabell's life was tragically cut short on February 21, 2024, in Lynchburg, Virginia. At just 19 years old, she became the victim of a senseless shooting incident that occurred at 10.50 a.m. on Locust Street. Lynchburg police responded to the scene upon receiving reports of gunfire, where they found Macavia badly wounded. Despite their efforts to save her, Macavia succumbed to her injuries upon arrival at Lynchburg General Hospital. She was shot more than 10 times. The suspect in her murder, 22-year-old Kean Palmer, fled the scene but was swiftly apprehended by authorities around 5.35 p.m. on the same day. Palmer was charged with second-degree murder and the use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. This just into the 10 newsroom, Lynchburg police have arrested this man in connection with the deadly shooting this morning. 22 year old Keon Palmer is charged with second degree murder. Police say he shot 19 year old Macavia Cobble around 11 this morning on Locust Street. She was taken to the hospital but didn't survive. There's no word yet on a possible motive. We're told this is still an ongoing investigation and anyone with any information is asked to contact police. His arrest brought little solace to a community reeling from the loss of one of its own. I'm uh, Macavia's grandmother. I don't know what really happened with her. And uh, the way I heard that she was shot, 
more than uh, 10 times. Why did you do that? She won 80 pounds soaking wet. That's a good girl. She just graduated last year. That's why. You could have did other things, hit her or something. Why did you have to shoot her like 10 times? Crucified style. That was my granddaughter. She was just at, at my house not too long ago. And I had fixed her brothels and everything. So I, I, I volunteered at my church tree of light. So when I left, I looked for her. And she had went out the door. So I called her. She didn't let me know anything. So I assumed that everything was okay because she was going to come back later on. Then I get a call today and said uh, she was shot and killed. And I don't know why that had to happen. She was a good girl. She wanted to go into nursing. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that to her. Why? Ten times? Do you know that's ten times? Because it shouldn't have been done. You shouldn't have done that. You came over to my house. And I fed you. I did everything. I even made grab bags for your sisters and brothers. Why did you do that? You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. Come on. She won't eat it for soaking wet. That girl was good to you. Anything you wanted, she gave you. She cared about you. Why did you do it? What made you do that? I got a grandbaby go. But nothing. You didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do it. Come on, in the aftermath of the shooting, details emerged of a tumultuous relationship between Macavia and Palmer. Macavia's mother, Kimberly Cruz, emphasized that Palmer was of no good, further underscoring his violent tendencies and negative influence in Macavia's life. Additionally, she recounted instances of his physical violence towards her, including reports of him ripping off her fingernails and assaulting her with a rock. Macavia's grandmother, Joyce Cruz, also spoke out about the tragedy, recalling her granddaughter's kindness and aspirations for the future. However, her dreams were abruptly cut short, leaving loved ones grappling with unanswered questions and unrelenting grief. Kimberly Cruz is trying to process the last 24 hours since she learned her 19-year-old daughter, Macavia, was shot and killed. I can't really explain because she was everything to me. My stars, my moon, my skies, my support, my firstborn. Macavia was killed Wednesday morning at a house on Locust Street. Her family says the man charged, Macavia's ex-boyfriend, Keon Palmer, lived there. He wasn't good news. He was never good news. Anyone that hurt your child ain't good news. And a mother feels that he's not good. Cruz says Palmer had a history of violence against Macavia, ripping off her fingernails, hitting her in the head with a rock. It don't make no sense. Somebody can hit her with a rock and the next day tell her they sorry and they love her and she's not friend again. But she can't understand how anyone could go this far. It's crazy for anybody to do that. That was overkill. Overkill. Ten times. Yes. You shot my baby ten times. Yes. Cruz says she believes he will pay for what he did. Now, she just hopes Macavia's story will remind parents to love on their kids. Make sure they're good. Because one day they can be good and call you laughing more. <laughs> what you doing in the next day? They go. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> As Lynchburg police investigated further into the case, New warrants uncovered potential witnesses and crucial details surrounding the events leading up to Macavia's death. Among them was a recorded Facebook call featuring a man claiming to have been present at the time of the shooting, shedding new light on the circumstances surrounding the incident. 
Following Macavia Cabell's tragic death, Kean Palmer, the suspected shooter, faced a bond hearing on February 28, 2024, at Lynchburg General District Court. Despite his attorney's plea for release on bond, senior assistant Lynchburg Commonwealth's attorney Jesse DeMond argued against it, citing Palmer's prior incidents and potential danger to the community. DeMond emphasized that Palmer had only recently returned to Lynchburg after residing in Charlottesville, suggesting a transient lifestyle or potential instability. Additionally, DeMond highlighted Palmer's involvement in the altercation with Macavia Cabell, indicating a propensity for violence or aggression. These factors collectively contributed to the determination that Palmer posed a significant risk to public safety if released on bond. Ultimately, Judge Sam Eggleston denied Palmer's bond, and he was remanded into custody. Yet, amidst the sorrow and despair, there remains a glimmer of hope for justice. As the investigation presses forward, the community stands united in its demand for accountability, determined to honor McCavey's memory by ensuring that those responsible are held to account for their actions. In addition to the heartbreak and loss, McCavey Cabell's family faced the daunting task of arranging her funeral. Stricken with grief yet determined to give her a proper farewell, they turned to the community for support, launching a GoFundMe campaign to raise funds for her final arrangements. Their plea did not go unanswered, as compassionate individuals from near and far rallied around the cause, generously contributing a total of $6,550 towards the funeral expenses. The outpouring of love and support provided a beacon of hope in their darkest hour, easing the burden of financial strain during a time of profound sorrow. On Saturday, March 2, 2024, at 12 p.m., loved ones gathered at the Ramp Church International in Lynchburg, Virginia, to bid farewell to Macavia. Amidst tears and solemn tributes, they celebrated her life, cherishing precious memories and honoring her legacy of kindness, compassion, and resilience. Though her physical presence may be gone, Macavia's spirit lives on in the hearts of those who knew and loved her. As they laid her to rest, they found solace in the collective embrace of their community, united in their shared grief and unwavering support for one another. The tragic death of Macavia Cabell is a heartbreaking reminder of the senseless violence that can occur in our communities. The fact that such a young life was taken in such a violent manner is a profound tragedy that should never have happened. Macavia had her whole life ahead of her, with dreams of pursuing a career in nursing and a bright future awaiting her. The loss of her promising life is a profound injustice that has left her family and loved ones devastated. In hindsight, there are likely many things that could have been done to prevent this tragedy. From addressing the underlying issues in Macavia's relationship with Kean Palmer to advocating for stricter gun control measures to prevent firearms from falling into the wrong hands, there are numerous steps that could have been taken to avoid this outcome. However, it's important to recognize that hindsight is always 2020, and it's impossible to change the past. The impact of Macavia's death will be felt deeply by her family and loved ones for years to come. The pain of losing a child, sibling, or friend in such a violent and senseless manner is unimaginable, and the grief and trauma will likely linger long after the headlines fade. The family's grief is compounded by the knowledge that Macavia's death could have been prevented, adding a layer of guilt and anguish to their sorrow. Moving forward, it's crucial for communities to come together to support Macavia's family and loved ones as they navigate the difficult road ahead. Whether through offering emotional support, financial assistance, or advocating for change to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future, there are countless ways that we can come together to honor Macavia's memory and ensure that her death was not in vain. By standing together in solidarity, we can work towards creating safer and more compassionate communities where senseless acts of violence like this are no longer a reality. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.